We have big health news tonight about a common sleeping disorder called sleep apnea. Some 28 million Americans have some form of it. And new research shows that many of these people may have a higher risk than others of cancer. Our chief medical editor, Dr. Nancy Snyderman, is with us tonight with more on this link and what people can do, really, Nancy, to manage the risk. Yeah, Brian, I think this is a link that caught everyone by surprise because we know, as you've said, that so many people have this and sleep apnea has been linked to everything from automobile accidents to heart attacks and stroke. But this is the first time that sleep apnea has been linked to cancer. Researchers in Spain followed 5,200 cancer-free pa cancer patients with sleep apnea for seven years. And while patients slept, then they monitored how much their oxygen levels dropped. And here's the shocking finding. People with severe sleep apnea had a 68% increased risk of developing any kind of cancer. That is an eye-opening statistic. And we all know that there are some common factors for cancer, including the ones that tobacco, alcohol, obesity, heredity. But now we may be looking at yet another independent risk factor for cancer, which means, Brian, if you awaken and you're not rested, if you're falling asleep at the wheel or at work or you're snoring, you must be seen in an accredited sleep lab. We all talk about sleep deprivation, but this is something yet again. And while we see our cancer rates still climb in this country, yet an independent variable. Yeah, that's why this story got the attention of so many people yeah. today. Nancy, as always, thank you.